Hi everyone, this is Visual Studio. Let's take a look at creating a simple Windows form application. Now Visual Studio is one of the easiest and most powerful IDs, avail IDs available and is used for just about every type of Microsoft development. If you've already used Visual Studio, you know that the first time you use it, it will ask for some settings. Depending on customizations and settings that you've chosen, your interfa interface for Visual Studio may appear slightly different than mine. So let's go ahead and create a new project. So a couple ways to initiate a new project. One is the file menu, file, new, and project. You can also hold down control and shift and click N. And you can see there's a lot of different options. And I've, you see that my defaults to Visual C Sharp, that's because the first time I entered Visual Studio, I chose C Sharp. I'm gonna go ahead and create a Visual Basic application. And I'm gonna click on Windows Form Application. Okay, first of all, be aware of where you're saving the project on your computer. You don't want to save it into a common folder like desktop or the root of my documents. You know, create a folder that's meaningful for, for the project that you're creating. You know, whether it's a group of projects for a certain company uh, or if you're taking classes and this is a single class, you want to create all of the projects in that class folder. Uh, maybe you want to create projects based on the type of language. So you can see I've created a folder on the root of C called code. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and switch over to a folder called VB. So I've got C code and then VB, and I'll select that. Now, now Microsoft creates uh, or provides two types of containers for a project. One is the project, and the other is the solution. <clears throat> So through this, we can through a solution we can create uh, multiple projects and we can share them under the same container called a solution. This allows us to share settings across multiple projects. Not only can we add settings that are shared across multiple projects, we can also add items such as files, references, uh, data connections, and other other types of items or settings. And we can add those one time into the solution and share them across those multiple applications. That, that can be a big time saver. All these can be big time savers in the development project. So just as an example, I'm going to go ahead and create this as VB Tutorial 1. And I'll add it to a solution called VB Tutorials. <clears throat> now I don't really need to, to add the my project to a single solution in this case because I'm not really sharing um, references or items across the projects but just as an example I'll, I'll put it under a single solution so also note that uh, the name is meaningful at least it's meaningful to me um, you don't want to use you know the default Windows form application one a bunch of times you won't know what the project is for so you know, choose something that makes sense, whether uh, you're going to put the company name that you're working for if you work with multiple companies, uh, if it's the type of application or the area in your company you're creating the application for, or if it's for a, a class, maybe name it with the class and then uh, what project it is. Okay, so now that we've created, we've selected the type of project that we're going to create, we've given it a good location. Uh, where we're going to store the project. We've given it a meaningful name and we've decided whether we're going to add it to a, an existing solution create an, or create a new solution or, or have an, a standalone solution. We can go ahead and click OK and it will create the project for us. Now, now Visual Studio is going to go ahead and generate what we need to run uh, a project from, a, from a temp, an existing template. First thing you'll probably notice in Visual Studio is the designer window. So depending on the type of file that, that you have open, Visual Studio presents a designer window that you can use to edit the file. In this case, we have a simple Windows form. So we're looking at form designer. And if I click on the form, you'll notice that there's a properties window that applies to that form uh, down in the bottom right hand corner by default. Visual Studio, Studio also provides a very easy to use solution explorer so that file management is integrated into this single interface for development. The Solution Explorer allows us to easily access all of the items in our projects. We can use uh, uh, the Solution Explorer just like Windows Explorer. We can drag and drop files. And there's a, a nice right-click menu that provides very meaningful actions uh, you know, based on the, on the type of file. So here I've right-clicked on uh, Form 1. And in true Microsoft fashion, we have a, 
a right click menu where you can see we can click on view code and it's going to open the actual code behind the form um, click designer and there's a menu custom made for the type of file that we're right right clicking on so the, the solution explorer really integrates nicely all of the files and, and resources from our project into a single window here you can see the solution the project and all of the files that exist inside of the project uh, next we have the file menu so file menu provides really all the functionality that we can uh, use in Visual Studio for our project there's also a, a toolbar and uh, just like most Microsoft projects we can uh, right click and add different toolbars we can also customize the toolbar another way to get to that is to click on the view button I better plug in we can click on the view button we can click toolbars and at the bottom click customize to, to customize the toolbars and options inside of our toolbars so now that we have a simple project we can save it we can use the file menu to save it we can say save as save all and we can easily run it uh, oops let me get back to the so we can click on debug and start debugging to actually run our application. You can see it fires up that single form. There's not, not much going on with this application. Uh, we can close it by either closing the application. In this case, we'd close the form. Or over in the debug uh, menu, we can click terminate all. So that's it. You're using one of the easiest and most powerful IDs available. There's a lot of functionality available. But as you can see, getting started with a simple project is pretty easy. Thanks.